First, you install it, but then you cannot delete it. Some applications are very annoying and that's why today I will show you how to uninstall any application in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Moreover, at the end of the video, I will show you how to force delete Microsoft Edge browser. For real, no jokes. So let's get it started. So friends, we are in Windows 11, also this utility and this method will work on Windows 10 as well. First of all, we will create undeletable file because at the moment I don't have such a utility, such an application which I cannot delete. And that's why I will make this application undeletable. For this, I will click on the right mouse button, then I will select open file location. In this folder, I will scroll down a little bit until I will find this file. This file actually helps to uninstall this utility. I will click on the rightmost button and select properties. Everything is very simple. Actually, if you want to create an undeletable file, you can use this method. I will click on the security, then select edit, click on add and type next. Everyone. Everyone and click OK. Then I need to do one very important thing. I need to check this option and it will automatically check all of these options. Select apply, yes and okay. My friends, I just make Media Player Classic undeletable and now I will demonstrate. For this, I will click here and I will go to the settings, select apps, and here we have an option, uninstall and manage apps on your PC. I want to know this is the easiest way if you want to delete some files in Windows 11 or Windows 10. This option is available by default. So I will click here. From this place, scroll down a little bit. And here it is, media player. So now I will show you that I cannot delete this player. I will click here and we have an option, uninstall. Click. First of all, you already may see a strange behavior because it forced me to click another time to delete this utility. I will click on install. Now you may see an error and I want to know that the error can be different on your laptop or PC, but it doesn't matter because I will solve this problem. I will close this window and I will close this window as well. Now we need to open our browser. In my case, I will use Google Chrome browser. Here you need to type next. Vice program uninstaller installer vice program uninstaller and press enter. Then probably you will see this website. To make it more easier, I will leave a link in the video description. Vice program uninstaller. So you need to click on it. On this page, we can find next info, Vice Program Uninstaller, safely and completely remove Windows applications. Simply to understand, this is a free utility which will give us possibility to delete any application on Windows 10 or Windows 11. If we scroll down a little bit, here we can read next. Vice Program Uninstaller is a perfect solution for uninstalling Windows programs, allowing you to uninstall application quickly and completely using its simply and user-friendly interface. So let's try this utility. I will click here on free download. Just wait a sec and it automatically downloaded on my laptop. Now we need to open this folder, click here, show in folder, and we can close the browser no need to use it anymore. As you can see, this is our utility, WPU, Vice Program Uninstaller, so you need to double click on it. Select Yes. In this window, check this option, accept the agreement and click Install. It may take a few seconds. And voila, we successfully installed Vice Program Uninstaller. I will uncheck these boxes and click Finish. Now we can close this window. So literally now we can run this utility. For this, we just need to double click on it. Select Yes. To make it more convenient, I will open it in full screen. So as you can see, we have some options here. Desktop apps, Metro apps, system components. And even though here we have browser extensions, but in our case, we will click on desktop apps and we need to find application, Media Player Classic. Simply to understand, you need to click on the application, but be sure to not check this option before you click on it. You just need to move the mouse cursor 
a little bit right and click on the application which you want to delete and after this you will get more options for the example you can safely uninstall this utility and the last solution will be force deleting so let's try the first option save uninstall click on it and what do we see here error operation failed access is denied but don't worry because that's normal if you want to delete the file which is quite difficult to delete so you need to click on ok and finally that's the moment when magics appear now i will show you how to delete this file simply we need to click on forced uninstall warning please choose force uninstall only when safe uninstall doesn't work are you sure to continue select yes just wait a sec and that's why this utility is so convenient and valuable. As you can see, it automatically checked all files of Media Player Classic, including a registry, which is really important. Actually, I do not recommend to mess with this option, do not uncheck anything, just leave everything by default and click remove. Actually, that's all. As you can see, we successfully deleted Media Player, no doubt. So we can click on search and type media player we no longer have media player classic which is great completely to be honest i don't have any issues or problem with this media player but sorry for this video i was forced to delete that file friends if you enjoy video to this moment please like it and now let's find out can we delete microsoft edge browser as you already know it's not easy to delete this browser you cannot just go to the setting and click uninstall that's impossible but it's not impossible for our youtube so I will click on the utility one more time and here we have Microsoft Edge browser. I will click on it. Let's try first to click on save uninstall. Click on it. As far as I see nothing happened and that's why we will use the last option force delete force uninstall. I will click on it. Again we see warning that this is the last thing that you should do. Let's click on yes. Just wait a sec. In this window we see the same thing, it automatically checked all options of Microsoft Edge browser including a registry and more. So we need to click on remove. In this case you need to be patient and take your time. Also I have another file, so I will click on it and also select force uninstall. Select yes. Believe it or not, but I just deleted Microsoft Edge browser. If we click on the startup menu, you will not see Microsoft Edge browser. Moreover, even if you click on the search, you can type Microsoft Edge. We don't see any info about Microsoft Edge browser in the system. In my opinion, that's just marvelous and impressive that we can delete any file, even Microsoft Edge browser. So if you want to get Microsoft Edge browser back again, you need to do one simple thing. You need to click on the startup menu. I want to know that you cannot install it again from the Microsoft Store. I will show you. Actually, I don't know why we don't have such an opportunity to install Microsoft Edge browser from the Microsoft Store, but actually the easiest way is to go to the settings and get some updates. You need to click on Windows Update and check for the latest updates. In my case, everything works and you just need to restart the system. In short, my thoughts on this utility. It is quite convenient, useful, and you can delete undeletable applications in your Windows system. It's free, so I could recommend to use this utility if you want to delete some annoying application in your system. If this video was useful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to delete undeletable files in Windows 10 and Windows 11.